Okay, so hello everyone. Here we are for the second official video. The first one was more like a test. But first official video with a new recording program. I hope it sounds good to you. I hope it looks good to you. Now that I have... I can actually say it. A beast in front of me. <laughs> actually a freaking good computer. I can try to do better things. So, of course, there is still a lot of setuping, and it takes hours of setuping as IRL, just trying to manage where to fit everything and to adjust myself to the way I play, to basically everything, and setuping, of course, in the computer, the software, and stuff like that. There's still some work to do in both, of course, but uh, for now it is completely playable. I've tested some on the game, some cutscenes, and just the first two, uh, to see if it was good and it should be good for you, but after recording I'll see. But anyway, that's the official first episode of Dying Light on the channel for you. So, first thing first. Let's get into it. <coughs> Sorry for this. Yes, so I've played the game on the previous computer and it was, I wouldn't say unplayable, but uh, well, <laughs> it's gonna be far different now. Hmm. I have quite some time on the game, so it, I guess we can go on hard. Or should we, treat, should we just stay like this? Just chill? Oh, I know. You can change the game difficulty while you play. So if I say it is kind of too easy, let's go. And it is too hard. HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Haran. Data on the subject. Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject, the stolen file. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the Varian's structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. Basically, a secret agent. I told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! Fall back! Fall back! Oh, <sighs> 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 
So, yep, trouble ahead. The cinematic was really fucking hot for me, I don't know why I normally set up this. Normally it, it was intended. Hmm. But this is how I left it, that is literally at the bare minimum. Okay. That hopefully it's good for you. I left to say on the record, but it's not normal that the first cinematic always spikes like this. It happened to me once, also. I hope I won't have to redo the whole freaking thing. Even the sensitivity is good. Anyway, the first thing that we're gonna do in this world, turn on the almighty radio. Anyway, let's get out, I don't like this music. And the first actual interaction is... Shitty. Even even. I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna hang you. By your underwear. Anyway, so we can see like on the upper right corner we do have a map. If we click, I think normally it's set up on the middle mouse button. You have this thing. That is the survival sense basically. You can spot things that you can interact with. So we can see that here behind there is something. That is actually the radio. See? Anyway, uh, shift, I put it on toggle, so you click once to enable, you click another time to disable, it is to sprint, C is to couch, and this guy is the future Ronaldo. If he gets out of here alive, if you know the true ending of the story, nope. Anyway, I could talk to you, I believe. Really? <laughs> anyway, let's just start. We've already lost enough time. Oh, someone died. Anyway, as you can see, people don't really like me here. Sick pay. By the way, there is a fun thing. Even if you play the game, you might have not noticed this. I still cannot run, or is it the other shift? Hmm. God damn it. Sprint toggle on. Shift. Yeah, it is. What the hell? Or I can not just run there. No, maybe it's the game. Yeah. I was saying, before I open this, 
you are gonna watch the trailer, the one with the song Run Boy Run. And then you're gonna understand why does Bracken look like this. Oh, it's actually the next cutscene. There are another one after. Anyway. Kinda. Bracken got my parents kicked off the gutter a couple of months ago, and he's been here ever since. Taking care of Josh, solving things, and Bracken. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. You could. But if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. It ends up in the port where we crash, by the way. Only thing Jake could salvage was the radio. Well, great. Uh, can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need this more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Our first mission then. <laughs> okay. So, of course, this episode is going to be kind of a test within a recording program. I. Okay, it's behind. It's all the elevator, yeah. Just in case you didn't notice, yes, I've played the game already. I've watched people play the game. I've completed it, I think. And I've seen people complete it. So. I'm stuck! No, I'm literally stuck. No! What? Tell me it's from the cinematic. <laughs> you. No words. I don't remember that you could be stuck in shopping carts. Anyway. So yes, I play the game. I'm gonna try the best as I can to avoid sleeping something out. But that's where it begins. Just in case you didn't notice already, this is not a kid's game. Far from it. Well, at least it's empty. So yeah, no one likes us in here. Our first weapon. So, they were saying, basically, quick resume, okay, now I can sprint. Okay, that's it. So, we are basically a secret agent that want to recover a file from a guy in there. Okay, there is stuff in there, as we can see. What about here? Oh. So many good things we could be missing on. There is something else in there. Closed, of course. And oh, I still cannot open this, really. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Double attack. The right click still does nothing, at least for now. So, yeah, we want to recover the file. That's basically it. This is the tower. The good guys, we're gonna call it. And this is a bad guy. E to kick. There you go. Yep. 
Is it it? I think it is. Yep, I think it is. Just want to be sure about something. Uh, skills. Okay, good. So it doesn't save this. So I am literally all at zero. Let's open this. Hello, bro. Well, was. We all know about zombies. Yeah, the game is quite graphic. I don't really know what this is, but looks appetizing at least, doesn't it? Oh, I just step out food. I won't eat it anymore. <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it's a really old game. I think uh, twenty oh seven. Okay, so he's doing something that you shouldn't do when you cut yourself. That's a real life tip. Okay, finally we can explore all this. Good. So, when you're bleeding like this, try to control your your breathing as much as possible. Just breathe slowly. Just slowly. And it will be good. Okay. Because the slower you breathe, the slower your heart will go, the slower... It will send blood to your the rest of your body, so it will naturally don't let the blood just run away like that. So that's a really good first step. Don't panic. Yes, you need to take care of it as soon as possible, but panicking, over breathing won't do anything for it. Anyway, oops. And the gauze now. So this has a little of crafting. That makes sense in this game. I think there aren't any zombies in here, but if there are, just shouldn't be too strong. Mm, we got the gauze, beautiful. And nice, some electronics. That will be handy for later. We're gonna just uh, keep looking around. Got a tin can. Have nothing? No, apparently not. Okay. Anyway. Oh, it's a door that I can close. Okay, good. Saw you. Duct tape and nails. Good. So, what about that guy? Oh, yeah. The crafting is in the inventory. Uh, blueprint, medkit. Okay, create. You have this loading time, that's kind of useless, but it's fine. Let's use it on him. There you go. That's kind of a bad cut. His face. <laughs> Yeah, one really bad thing about this game are the faces. <laughs> and we got experience from helping the guy. That's good, anyway. Well, clearly not enough. And let's go. I think now it's the part where I need to actually sit correctly. Give me just a moment. Oh, I need to go around. Ugh. Okay, just share can go back now. So 
E. Oh. Okay. Should be fine. Hmm. The sensitivity. I mean, sometimes I do this just to check it, but it looks just a little high. Just in case you didn't notice, their brother and sister, and Amir was, I believe, her girlfriend. Oh, he's man, no explosives. Oh, anyway. Oh, now I need to change my clothes as mission. I do look stinky. I know it. But, you're gonna understand why. Yes, by the way, runner's clothes. We're gonna do some runs. Take a sip. Do it, my boy. Anyway. <laughs> I love this game. Yes, you can get clothes. And also, normally, no, not now, but later, I have a lot of clothes because uh, I, I bought a package when I bought the game that had, I think, all or most of the DLCs. I activate the... Okay, it's by foot. My bad. Um, I activated the noise suppression, but I think I've... I heard the... Uh, no, higher. Anyway. Um, that doesn't look good at all. You should change those. I hope you won't hear too much clicking as from the mouse. As from the keyboard. Mm, here we are. He left a little key for us. When you space and you just look up, it's good. So press and hold spacebar just to grab the ledge. Looking at. Remember to look. Mm, like the middle mouse button to use this kind of aura, I'll show you. At let you want to grab. You can perform the section while standing, walking, or running. So, if I'm running, if I'm just walking, if I'm just looking at it, you can do it. If you see, you can see a slight outer line, you see? But most of the time, the grabs are obvious. Long pressing is usually what I do. Instead of just like tapping it, I just leave it, looking at it, because it's better. And yes, I, I know what he say. Crane on the crane, haha. Ha. Fun fact, in French, school is said crane, and it's actually spelled the same way as crane. So yes, you can say my school hurts, haha. Ha. Fun things. And there you are. By the way, this is the middle mouse butt. What the hell? Look at that, there is something. Look. What? I actually never saw this. What's in the middle of it? The game is telling me that there is something right here. Anyway. Whoa. Sometimes it's a better call. 
Muay Thai. <laughs> so yes, don't try this in real life, of course, but uh, here, trash bags, stop your fall, and fun fact, I think you can jump over that wall, so you can kill yourself in the tutorial. There is a lot of talking in the beginning, but uh, it will get better after. A little. So let's just run. Can I? Oh no, that's a skill, I forgot. Let's go. Hold spacebar and jump. We. There we go. Beautiful. Where can I climb this? Oops. Okay. Okay, so we need to get in there. I don't think I can jump. I'll go from here. Uh, move? Okay, you will still use the keys, of course, to walk. Slash move. We probably all know this game, we've all heard about it, and how good it was, and it still is. Good job. Thank you. <coughs> Basically parkour and zombies. The concept is really nice, interesting, and they took it really nicely, and they coded it well. So what else? Good enough. Yeah, natural talent. I cannot even tell you how long I took <laughs> the first time I used this. You're welcome. Oh, top of the crane on top of all. And this first seizure, yes, it's due to the bite. Uh, and it is... Okay, there it is. Uh, man? Okay. So we need to talk to Dr. Zare. And I think I can just uh, go there and end the episode there. And is in, I know it is the abbreviation of some words that I don't remember. Oh, too much. That I don't remember. Need to go down. Mm -hmm. 
so let's go. So quartermaster is this guy. That is some things. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping for it. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep it warm at night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. No, that part won't help. Won't do, actually. So that's what he has to give to me. You just take it all. And yes, it is yours, indeed. We got a medkit, a uh, lockpick, uh, a weapon that is immediately equipped. That's what I have equipped. So the weapons, the usables, kinda. And my backpack that is small shit. Anyway, if you look behind, this is what I need to get to him that is... Like, there. That is stored in some crates that fall from the sky that like airdrop it but yeah let's just go so look really look at this guy hey, hey, hey wait 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 look so you're telling me that this freaking door was closed the whole time until I come and I'm like no you're gonna open it And let's see Jerry. Hello. Ow. Damn it. He's actually not doing anything. He's not even sharpening the right side. You need to sharp the edge of the blade, not this part. But anyway, it's a game. Right. He is really right. Not yet. This part is interesting, actually, if you like the more theoretical part about things. Oh, and I'm texting to the 
So as he says, antisin is not a cure, it's just something temporarily to help you. With this level up, you have skill points and spent, yeah. There are different categories. So survivor, when you do things for others, agility, running, jumping, and stuff like this power when you fight. The more you do out of those three scenes, the more points you'll get. So this game rewards you more for the aspects that you actually do more. If you run more, if you like more parkour, you get more of this. If you fight more, you get more of this. But survivor rank, it's, I guess, good in both. Gives access to supporting abilities, blueprints and gadgets to increase the survival points, complete quests, help other survivors, and participate in challenges that is in multiplayer. The higher rank, the better the equipment offered by shops. So this is basically also the way you look to the eyes of others. In order to craft the most basic things needed for survival, lockpicks, firecrackers, simple throwing stars, and Molotov cocktails. The one that you have to get first, of course, is locked. Then you choose the order you want. But next point we'll see. And this is Spike. And also, this is how we're gonna end the episode. I really want to see how it sounded. I hope it wasn't too loud in the first cinematic. Like, it's so weird that it actually happened like that. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll try to be less boring next episodes, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna tell you, see you for next time, for the next episode, and never forget about this, stay the way you are, you're amazing, and see you.